Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Parish and Equilibrium's collaboration of Ghost in the Laboratory. It's actually laboratory, but <laughs> laboratory is just that Dexter thing that yeah. we all grew up with. Will you just get out of my laboratory? So Ghost in the Laboratory is a double IPA. Um, this is brand spanking new. It's the second batch. Um, oh, right, right, right. right so I know it, less about this than you do, so you can go ahead and talk about this. Yeah, so this is... Um, it's kind of like a, a mix. It's not really a mix, but they, they grabbed elements from straight out of the laboratory, which is a beer equilibrium mix. Yes, equilibrium mix. And then beer. the Ghost in the, the Machine. Parish, Ghost in the Machine. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Double dry hop version. Which we did, actually, a review on, and we'll link that in the cards over there, uh, should you care to check that out. This one, let's just go ahead and read this. This can art is so dope. It's like yeah. it's like Albert Einstein with lasers shooting out of his head and hops blasting out. Like this is it's it's too cool. And then the whole thing is like this translucent sort of like uh, what do you call this uh, foiled sort of like um, a hologram kind hologramish. Of. Yeah, it's really cool. Anyways, uh, Ghost in the labor Laboratory. We're just gonna say that. <laughs> the Laboratory! A collaboration with Parish Brewing Company, Canned and Brewed, at Equilibrium in Middletown, New York. Um, a government warning, independent craft beer label. Uh, help us ensure the cold chain, purchase cold, trade cold, keep cold. If it's not cold, ask why. This is a thing that Equilibrium does. Uh, they want to make sure, they're scientists. They want to make yeah. sure, damn sure, that you're getting fresh cold beer. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't ship to your house and it's not cold, they want to know about that which I think is pretty cool. It's, this never happened to us. They always ship it with like dry ice in there. Yeah, it's always so, cold every time I get it. Every time. So good job on that. Shipping is on point. And that's really all it says here. Um, I don't know what this little thing is, but yeah. it's like a spaceship it with like, like little... UFO with like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> anyway, Ghost in the Laboratory. Let's dive into this one. So we, I saw this uh, online and I forwarded this forwarded it to you and I was like, hey, have you seen this? And you were like, yeah, I think we missed out on that. But we didn't read far enough down in that post on Facebook. And they were basically saying like, hey, we have more of this stuff available. Sorry, the first line was like, sorry if you missed out on this. And everybody was commenting like, oh, I didn't get it. We couldn't yeah. get it. And I was like, oh no, we couldn't either. And then um, you were like, oh, but wait, like there's, it's actually, you should read more into that. And then yeah. you were like, I ordered some. Like, yeah, okay. it was a little misleading at first. You're like, uh, it was like kind of like sad news. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you weren't able, you know, most people were not able to get their hands on this. And then like the third sentence down was, was like, like, but we have some. We, <laughs> bre we brewed our second batch because our shipments came in of hops. I think they were waiting for or something. And, you guys got to stop and doing so that. I was able to order it then. That's a, that's a tricky um, way yeah. to, to do it. So there's a lot of crap going on in this beer. Uh, Sandra's just gonna read it because we'll never remember how this beer is brewed. They said they used mashed up grain, grain bill from straight out of the laboratory and Ghost in the Machine. And then they used a massive dose of CO2 extract, Citra Incognito, and hand-selected Citra T90s on the hot side. Like, not, yeah, okay, so bearing hops? Yeah. Um, and an insane amount of Citra Lupo Max as well. So it's, um, yeah, it sounds pretty intense. Um, I can only imagine we're gonna get a ton of like tropical fruitiness from it. Lots of melon. Um, I'm guessing probably. a heavy dose of bittering uh, hops, you know, too. Yeah, and get a that. lot of orange as well. Oh. I'm getting that, that, that delicious dankness. Yeah, that danky, it's, it smells thick. Mm. Like yeah. super thick. A little pungent. It almost kind of tickles your nose mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, yeah, a lot of pineapple, like um, orange zest, big, big papaya or grapefruit. I can't tell which one, probably papaya or maybe guava. I'm getting I don't really like, know. it's just a lot of fruity. Like orange really. juice too? Yeah. Like an orange juice. like. And there's like an acidity there that tickles your nose. Mm -hmm. Very opaque. Yeah, it looks like orange juice. You can't, I mean, it almost looks like you could probably stick your, poke your finger in it. 
All right, well, let's dive into this one. Cheers. It's really orangey. Like really, really hyper orangey. What's immediately obvious is that it's very smooth. Yes. For an eight and a half percent beer with all those bittering hops that we're talking about. Um, that is such a nice, soft, yeah, creamy mouthfeel. That it's, is delicious. It's just smooth. I thought this was gonna be uh, much like the, the uh, Ghost in the Machine that we reviewed, which was like in your face bitterness and like dense body. This still has that dense body, but like this one I feel like is not a polar opposite, but definitely a, the different direction. Tastes like an equilibrium, like equilibrium had their hands on it for it, sure. It does. It, yeah, equilibrium it? has this, this like clean taste. I mean, it has this that melon do. that always yes. comes out in every beer. Yes, equilibrium has a melon thing. I don't mm -hmm. know how they do it or what they do. I mean, it's obviously the hop combinations or maybe it's the water. Or maybe it's like how they treat the water going in or something, but they do something where every beer has this melon punch. Uh, the photon being mm -hmm. the one that I'm like, melon. If I want yeah. a fruity, fruit forward, melony beer, like some craziness, yeah. that, that's the one I, I gravitate to. Um, I am getting a lot of other things happening in this beer. Yeah. It's, it's complex enough to where you could drink it and say, ooh, there's, you keep drinking it and more and more starts happening. It's a little dangerous, I would have to say yeah. this. Um, I could just keep half, drinking right? the whole night and not realize it's an eight and a half percent beer. Yeah, that's, that's sketchy. So it's a little dangerous. I mean, just the right amount of carbonation, a little on the low side actually. Um, but yeah, that's just helps you keep drinking that stuff. And I feel like it helps like those those like fruit notes and melon and guava and pineapple come out further because the carbonation is is not hindering those flavors as much. This retains all the dankiness that I would expect um, of of a ghost beer. I'm gonna call them ghost beers. <laughs> I feel like they you know you know you guys should collaborate with the band Ghost. That, oh, that would, would be, be really cool. cool. Yeah. I mean, if you can make that happen, hey, that would be cool. Ghost on stage. <laughs> and that would be so dope. Oh my God, that'd be so good. I'd buy it instantly. So yeah, final thoughts. Uh, dangerously addictive, this beer. It's uh, fruity. It's very fruity. Very, not as bitter as we expected. Great. And um, complex. Yeah, like a pineapple mango smoothie. Yeah. Meets orange juice. Yeah, it's basically an orange, an orange Julius in a uh, glass. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to catch any future content that we release. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.